Hey angels, I hope you're having a great day so far. And if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Lola Kate, thank you for joining me. So in today's video, I will be bleaching my own hair. My plan is to transform my hair from the two tones of color that I currently have to a solid all over creamy blonde from root to tip. Disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am a fully licensed hairstylist and I do not advise anyone to bleach their own hair themselves. Please go to a professional to help you because bleach can be very damaging for your hair if it is used incorrectly. Also, if you are trying any new products, please follow manufacturer instructions and always do a strand test and an allergy test 24 hours prior to the application to see how your hair and also your skin respond to the products. Okay, so first thing I am going to do is assess my hair so I can work out which areas need to be applied first with the lightener and also which strength of lightener that I will need to use. As you can see, we are very dark here at the roots. The hair has not been tinted dark at all. This is my natural virgin hair color where all of the dark is. This is where all of my roots have grown out. So we are about a level five here on the color chart. Then here on the ends, we have very light blonde tones, which have previously been colored with a permanent hair color and also lightened with bleach. In these areas, we have levels of eight and nine on the color chart. So to get an even result, each area will be treated differently as my end goal is to achieve a level of 10 from root to tip. So the color technique that I need to do today is a color correction rather than just a regrowth touch up. If my regrowth was around two to three centimeters only, then it would be a very different technique and process. Let's go through and have a look at the products that I will be using for today. Okay, so first I'm going to wash my hair with a clarifying shampoo. So today I will be using this one here. It is by Davro. I like to use a clarification shampoo to ensure that my hair is clean from any impurities, mineral buildup, and also any product buildup in the hair. This is important because bleach can have a chemical reaction to any alcohol products like mousse, gel, hairspray. So I always like to do this step before I start any extensive bleaching process. Next, we have one of my favorite brands for lightener. It's by Swatkov. It's their Blonde Me Powdered Lightener. I will be mixing it with their Blonde Me 7 Volume Developer. Also their Blonde Me 20 Volt Developer. So as you can see, they are from the same range. The next step after my bleaching process is to then go in and tone my hair. Today I will be using a demi-permanent hair color by the brand Weller, which should last up to 24 washes and it will also add a beautiful shine in the hair and it's also ammonia free. I have the shade 901 here, which is a mixture of natural and also a light ash blonde. And I will be mixing it with Weller's six volt developer. Okay, so those two go together. This is the demi-permanent V-toner. Next, we have Protect by Australian brand Di Lorenzo. And how I use it is by popping in one pump of Protect into the lightener that is going onto my scalp to stop the burning and itching feeling that bleach can have. Only to my scalp bleach lightener though, not for my mid-lengths and ends. Tools I will be using, a scale to weigh the products, a tail comb, a wet comb, a color board, which is just my personal preference. Um, I actually picked this up off Amazon for $8. Best $8 ever spent. Okay, just some long clips, some butterfly clips, hair dressing foil, a couple of color bowls, one for the scalp, one for the mid lengths and ends, and some gloves to protect my hands. Okay, so it's time to wash my hair with the clarifying shampoo. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so as you can see, I've just shampooed my hair and combed it through and I've popped it into six main sections. My hair is damp now, which is fine because it will actually help the lightener glide through the hair so I can get maximum saturation with the lightener in each section that I'm working through. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I will be starting from the back and working my way to the top. And I've just mixed up my lightener here I have two bowls of product here. In bowl one, I have mixed up 80 grams of lightener with 
160 grams of 7 Vol Developer and also one pump of Protect by DiLorenzo. And in Vol 2, I have mixed up 80 grams of Lightener and 160 grams of 20 Vol Developer. And this one does not have any scalp protect in it because this is for the mid lengths. Um, so it won't be touching my scalp. Starting with the roots and applying the lightener with 7 vol first. Next we have our foil which has been painted with the lightener and 20 vol. Now placing it on top of the colour board and it goes underneath the first section. Now applying more lightener with 20 vol onto those mid lengths. The board helps out by supporting the hair as I apply more product. Removing the board now and folding that foil in half. And now moving up to the next section. And again, here at the roots, I am applying the lightener with 7 vol and then 20 vol for the mid lengths. When working with a lightener, timing is very important, which is why I don't actually use the regular T section parting. Because I find when I'm mapping out these sections, those first areas that get painted with a lightener end up being overprocessed, which is why I prefer to start at the back sections with a lower strength of developer and evenly apply each section and work my way up the hair. Also, the underneath and back areas generally need a longer time to process because of the darkness and the density of the hair in those areas. As I work my way up to the top and side areas, I will boost up the strength of the lightener to even out the time difference from the back to the front. I like to use my colour brush to apply the colour at the roots and for the mid lengths I use a colour brush along with a wide tooth comb to detangle each section of hair as I paint on the product just to ensure that each section of the hair is getting even distribution of the lightener. I sometimes also use my hands to really work the lightener into those mid lengths. As you can see, I am using a lot of product and the reason is that I like to completely saturate each section of hair that I'm working on just so that the lightener does not dry out because if the lightener dries out, it actually stops lightening the hair and that means we would only be getting about 10 to 15 minutes of lifting time. Whereas if there is plenty of product on each section of the hair, it will stay saturated and moist and continue doing its job and lifting the hair for the full amount of the processing time. Have a look underneath there. The roots have already started lifting up lighter and that's just with using the lightener mix with 7 Ball, which is a very low strength of developer. And it's because one, the heat from my scalp is helping the lightener lift the roots up. And the second reason is that the hair has been completely saturated with the lightener, which is also incubating the hair and stopping that lightener from drying out so that we are continuously getting that lift. Now, as for the mid lengths, which are slower to lift, this is because these areas do not get that heat from the scalp which is why I am using a higher developer in those areas to give it a boost, along with the foil which helps out by generating heat onto those mid-length areas. And the foil is also incubating the mid-lengths. I am continuing to leave out the existing blonde ends for later as they will not take long to lift at all which is why we leave them out to avoid over-processing those ends. Speaking of ends, which by the way, are well overdue for a haircut, but we will leave that for another video. Okay, and that is the back three sections now completed. Moving up now to the top area where I have bumped up the strength of the developer. The mixing ratio for the lightener is 2 to 1, so for the roots I am using 40 grams of lightener mixed with 30 grams of 7 bowl and 50 grams of 20 bowl with one pump of protect for the scalp. And for the mid lengths I am using 40 grams of lightener with 80 grams of 20 bowl. Once the top section is completed, I now bump up the developer again for the two side sections. 
For the roots there, I have mixed up 50 grams of lightener with 100 grams of 20 vol. And for the mid length, I am using 50 grams of lightener with 50 grams of 20 vol and 50 grams of 30 vol. So with 30 volume developer, I try my best to use it sparingly as it is a strong developer and if left in the hair for too long can damage the hair. But I could see that the back and top sections were already lifting quite light. So for the sides to lift up in time, I definitely need to go up in strength. I can keep my eye on both of the side sections to make sure that it is not left on for too long and that the hair is not being compromised or over processed. Once I finish applying the last section, I will let the color process. However, I will be checking it every five to 10 minutes. Okay, so the color has been on the hair for half an hour at this point. So I am now going to have a look to see if we have looked at light enough. Okay, looking good. So you see it looks pretty even at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is uh, one by one, remove the foil. And then I have mixed up another bowl of lightener and seven vol developer, um, which is more gentle. And as I remove each foil, I will then add some more lightener onto the ends. So I'm just gonna do that now. As I am removing the foil, I can see that the roots and the mid lengths have lifted up beautifully and even. And also the lightener has stayed nice and wet throughout the whole process, which is why I love using this particular brand, the Swatskoff Lightener, because it doesn't dry up or swell up like so many other brands can. Okay, so I've just finished applying the color, just been babysitting the lightener on my hair, and even though I can see some yellowy tones throughout, it doesn't bother me too much. Overall, it has lifted up even enough. Yeah, I don't wanna leave it on too long because I don't wanna damage my hair too much. So I'm going to now just quickly jump to the shower, shampoo my hair. Um, I'm not gonna condition it though. I'll come back and then we will tone my hair. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, and back again. So this is how my hair is looking. I've just shampooed out the lightener. I didn't condition and now we're ready for the toner. So in here, I have just mixed up the Demi hair color that I showed you previously. So the mixing ratio for this is two to one. So I've got 60 mils of shade 901 and 120 mils of six fold developer. The toner will neutralize the brightness of the blonde and also counteract the gold tones that I have uh, throughout the hair. So I'll just apply that now. So starting off with the roots first, I always like to make sure that I apply the toner to the roots because if the toner is not applied evenly onto that area, the entire color will look blotchy and uneven. I also like to make sure that I mix up enough product to ensure that I get complete saturation on the hair from root to tip. Toners are customized to suit each person's hair, but today I went for a natural ash as I am aiming to achieve a creamy blonde rather than a silver or a white blonde. Okay, so that's 20 minutes with the toner on my hair. So next I need to jump in the shower and shampoo it out. And then I will be doing a treatment in my hair, just a quick mask, this Olaplex treatment here. It's number eight, it's their new mask, so it's very hydrating. So I'll pop that in for 10 minutes, then I will blow dry my hair and I'll definitely make sure I use a heat protection spray and then I will come back and show you the results. Okay, this is the end result here. As you can see, we have a beautiful creamy blonde. There are some slightly golder strands throughout, but I don't mind that because it does add some dimension to the hair. But overall, it has lifted nice and clean and the hair is still healthy and strong. Also, there are no band marks from the rather large regrowth that we had going on. So I'm pretty stoked about that. 
I'll turn around so you can see the back. Please let me know your thoughts on today's glow up and if you have any hair related questions please leave them in the comment section below as I'd be happy to help. I really do hope that you have enjoyed today's video and if so please remember to like, share and subscribe. Okay besties, thank you for hanging out with me today. Take care of yourselves, stay amazing and I'll see you next time. Bye!